so it's 7 45 in the morning and thank goodness the time changes this weekend here in New Brunswick because I don't like waking up when it's this dark and going to work kind of sucks it's bad enough that we'll be coming home in the dark in the very near future anyways guys my name is Jason Carr welcome back to the channel today it's finally gonna happen So if you follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen the sneak peeks of the wheels on Bubbles. So now what we've got to do is get them to clearance in the front. And uh, we've already started that. So as you can see here, I had to trim out a little piece of plastic from here. I still have got to trim this off a little bit more there and that should be fine. Over here is a different story. We've got this little bit of a body seam, which recesses in the back. So we're gonna try and just bend that over that way and uh, in here, we've got to trim the actual part of the fender out. Probably, oh, maybe about half, three quarters of an inch. And then as it tapers back up here, we'll try and follow that curvature of the uh, wheel well. And we'll go from there. So we've got that clearance out a little bit. So now we're gonna try and uh, get this piece right here bent back and uh, go from there. The big persuader out. Let's try this again. So there it is on level ground off the hoist. And we'll see if we can get this thing uh, wheels turned where the tire is actually going to sit inside the wheel well. You want to reach in there and cut the wheel? Okay, this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back. All right, so that's got to come back this way a little bit more. Okay, shut her off. So just a little bit more massaging up front. I think the back is just about perfect. So I'll do that and we'll try it again. Take squeeze. A little bit. Okay, so turn, turn to the right. Marvelous. Just a little bit left. Actually, you know what? We could probably put a screw in that and hold that back. And that'll be just fine. Okay, back this way. Awesome. I think we got ourselves a monster truck. What do you think, Junior? We got ourselves a monster truck? Oh, yeah. Think it'll burn the tires off this one? What do you think? I think we need to try. All right, so we're going to get this thing back with the original wheels on it for now because I'm running out of time. And I'm going to go over to the other side, trim the other side out. And by then, get this, the fourth black steel wheel will be here. I ordered four and only three showed up today. So I think we were cursed not to put these tires on this thing. But nevertheless, hopefully that tire, that wheel will show up tomorrow. We'll get them all mounted and balanced. And by the end of day, be able to drive this thing with 31s on it. So it's now Friday. We've got the driver's side all trimmed out the way it's supposed to be for these big 31 inch tires. So now we're going to work on the passenger side. So I've already got started a little bit. I've got the mud flap off of here, um, most of the screws out here. So we're going to take this inner liner out and we'll start with that. I 
buddy up there. Eating dirt here. Now look at all this mud. So you can see where this mud flap went and when you take it apart you can see where the line is here and that's roughly about what we're going to be cutting out along this side to make room for that wheel. Let's get started. So now we've got to get this little seam right here bent over and once again we've got the big persuader. There. That should be enough for that. Now we've got to turn our attention to getting this plastic out. So based on what I did last time, I'm just going to cut a straight line across here and out. And then I'm going to, have to trim off the bottom part of this bumper here a little bit. I might have just cut into my winter washer fluid reservoir. <laughs> Tim? Yeah? You were supposed to warn me about the windshield washer reservoir. It, it's behind the inner fender, you know. Right, right where I was cutting. <laughs> Peeing out all over the floor. Too, so I didn't even yeah. just kind of blend it in in there. Excuses yet. Shut up, Tim. <laughs> Go back to work. <laughs> well, crap. Well, at least you didn't hit it with the ball. Oh, shoot. see I just ever so gingerly cut through the windshield washer reservoir so now we got plastic all over my nose so now we've got something else to repair before we can get this job done I tell you little things have been fighting me this whole way on this job oh but I think we're ready for a fitment at least. So now I know it's hanging, but. <laughs> oh, the string was locked. So we're just we're just putting it down so that we can see if it clearances when we turn the wheels. So as we sit right here. Looks good in the front. The back looks okay, but let's see how it goes. I think it's good. It's hitting up against this foam here, so we'll trim that foam out. But I think we'll be good. So we've got some of that foam trimmed up. I think we'll be good there now. Shouldn't be uh, making any noise, but 
But we've got another problem to fix and that is this windshield washer reservoir. So I'm gonna get that fixed up. I'm not gonna bore you guys with that. And we'll get the wheels back on it, get her down on level ground, maybe take her for a drive. Well, there you have it guys. All four 31 inch tires are on this beast. As she goes down, we're gonna get her outside, sit on level ground so you can see what she looks like. Here she goes, boys. You hear something rubbing? Oh, it's that piece of plastic back here. Gotta get that mud flap off. That side's good. There you go, guys. Get that mud flap ripped off there on the back. Oh, brake light's out too. She's muddy. You might want to put the window up. bit of rub in there. Oh, it should be fine. It's that back mud flap. <laughs> oh, it snapped. <laughs> oh. And there you have it guys, there is a 2009 Kia Sportage with 31 inch tires on it. I hope you enjoyed this little series on building this project we call Bubbles. And as we move forward, we will be doing a little bit more to it. So guys, thanks for tuning in, thanks for the thumbs up, thanks for giving me all the comments and, and praise down in the comment section below. <laughs> this has been by far the funnest project that we've been doing on this channel. So there's gonna be a lot more. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next upload.